Oh, wait until you see this thing. This might be one of the best creations yet. Usually in my videos, I like to feature something funny right away, but today we're doing something a little different. Today's video features pretty much nothing but epic things. And today we start with this thing that looks like basically a Titan from Attack on Titan if there was a water version. It's a new Leviathan that has emerged from the depths. It's called the Bone Leviathan and it looks awesome let us watch as it destroys these hill giants now i have to imagine <laughs> i was gonna say i have to imagine there's gonna be a lot of poking going on but then for some reason i totally forgot that it has a big giant mouth that's gonna try to eat people with <laughs> i can't tell if it's got this it got him in his mouth though which is spiked on he's just flying away with that guy oh there it goes got like all of its spikes just latched onto these things i would like to see it fly up in the air with all three of them attached come on man lift them up you can do it get them up there nope he got them all but he didn't fly away with them and let's oh he actually had some damage taken off ancient hipster man today you meet a foe the likes of which you've probably have never fought he is a legend a fierce fighter a bounty hunter his name Boba Fett. Anybody watching Boba Fett right now yearn for the Mandalorian even more? This is actually a pretty good representation of Boba Fett. Look at his backpack over here and his little thing up there. I mean, this is pretty good. I'm just now realizing I don't actually think he... Oh, never mind. He does have a gun. It just popped out of nowhere and he's flying through the air flipping his missiles. That was way cooler than I thought it was going to be. Because at first I looked at him and I realized, oh, he doesn't have any like weapons or anything. But then I didn't see the MG that was hiding in there and i definitely didn't expect him to do what he did let's watch that again but this time we're gonna watch from afar so he just like launches his missile for some reason he does like a flip through the air i don't know why but it's so sweet and then he just hovers around like boba fett do but seriously though is anybody watching boba fett just wishing that there were like eight seasons of the mandalorian let me introduce you massive army to a gigantic unit so large that it almost doesn't fit on the largest map there is this thing is called battleship halberd oh Oh, 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 oh my goodness look at this insane creation it's got these epic massive wings it's got epic command tower looking thing huge gigantic guns mounted pretty much everywhere whatever this thing is look at the sheer size comparison <laughs> uh, there's no army in the planet that can actually deal with this thing no way this is otherworldly epic wow look at the size of this monster you know what this thing reminds me of harlock the arcadia has somebody made the arcadia because if not they need to make that thing when i saw this next creation i nearly lost my mind this thing has this epic awesome head up here but it's not really a head it's a stinger look at this insane biomechanical scorpion thing i think it's made by the same guy who made that other biomech thing that we played with the last time either way this thing is nightmarish and there's no earthly way this thing could lose it's kind of unfortunate though i might need to choose some different units for it to face why might you ask do i need to do that so we can watch its tail head thing actually bite things will it actually attack or is it just like a static object oh no is it static it looks like it might be a static object not at no i don't know actually oh there it goes so yeah no it still spikes like the scorpion tail does but it has a mouth associated with it wow this thing is derping out like crazy the brontos are pushing it off the edge no it's like flying through the air it bit onto its head it does have hover boosters so there's not really any way for it to fly off i guess but and also this thing right here in the middle that thing spins oh it's got its head right in this little tail mouth thing oh i think that's gg it won flying scorpions let's pray that never happens when i saw this next thing 
I thought, man, that thing looks epic and it's gonna be huge. But then you realize that its name, Antlion, is true to its form. <laughs> Even though it's tiny, it sure does look epic. It's actually like a new form of bug. It kind of looks like a face hugger. All right, bold Billy, let's see how bold you are. I'm gonna assume that that thing, this thing's gonna win. There's lots of spikes all over it. Yep, so far so good, spiking everything. Bold Billy's trying to push it, but man, that thing's got its little spiky spikes just sunk into everything. Actually, I don't quite know how it's staying upright because all, at one point all of the legs were like stuck into them and so it was somehow uh i don't know levitating needless to say little tiny epic bugs actually human sized bugs are uh, would be terrifying and are terrifying here is an epic giant army of t-rexes mosasaurs and squids because why not they're fighting against a gigantic massive beast named Cathadry. He is in the realm of massive kaijus with six gigantic spiky arms of doom. He is a massive, massive beast. And I can't wait to see what happens. I'm glad I got the- Oh, there are lasers. I'm glad I got most of those just so they would fly up. Eat those things! Oh, he just lasered all of them. Oh, he's got little zappy lasers somewhere. Well, uh, needless to say, that's about what I expected to happen, but I thought that they would at least get close to his mouth so that he could eat them. Where are those lasers? Oh, there they are. I'm going to take those off. Now we'll see what happens. I didn't think that removing little zappy lasers would be such a difficult task, but it turns out when there's little micro movements, I'm not a surgeon, okay? I would have problems operating on people, okay? But I should not be operating on anybody. That thought should never- Look at that. Thing. Goodbye, whatever you are, T-Rex, I think. Things just flying away. Let's put him against another Titan. How about Oro Dente? I don't know who's gonna win this battle because his face is in the ground all the time, but he's like my favorite one, so we'll see what happens. I think he might win. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. He's got missiles and everything. He doesn't have the support as the other ones have. Look at the sheer size difference, though, of them. Yeah, I knew it was gonna happen. Did you see the sheer size difference between Cathardry or whatever it's called and this guy? I mean, it's massive difference. Today you witness probably the best epically large creation that I have seen. I think it might be the first of its kind in terms of what it is and what happened to it. This gigantic beast is called the carrier and you might ask well why is it called the carrier well you'll notice that it's made of metal large giant metal plates that used to be an aircraft carrier look at how epic this thing is it is so creative it's like a morph i don't know what you transformer-esque looking thing but it, it actually has weapons and stuff still from its original aircraft carrier form but look at the sheer size of this thing and then i i love the design of the head it's so like you know straight and i i don't know it's just epic and today we watch oh it's got lasers oh and it's trying to eat him i like it and it's got a big mouth what, 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 isn't this thing a, is this an, isn't this an actual like monster verse creature the one thing that i'm really liking people are f figuring out how to make these gigantic creatures move really well with these like secondary arms which i wish we could put like I wish they made all kinds of different versions of arms so we can have really cool stuff. But anyway, it moves really well and it looks so incredibly cool. Let's just, I think it's called the Saratoga. Let's just say that the Saratoga aircraft carrier in the, in the MonsterVerse King Kong and Godzilla actually transformed and morphed into this big gigantic thing. But how powerful is it and can it withstand some of the other monster verse giant kaiju creations let us first have it fight the colossal anthropod and see if it's able to defeat this thing i hope that it does i don't know for sure but we'll find out so far the anthropod has only shot a couple laser shots at it while it's getting pelted by gigantic laser beams and mgs and all kinds of other epic things talk about an epic scene right here who's gonna win this battle i have no idea 
I I don't know how this is gonna. What is happening with its head? It's like neck is looping backwards or something. Come on, w somebody win this battle already. Oh, it's starting to lag as if something's gonna happen. There it goes. Oh, the colossal anthropod goes down. Well, guys, the epic carrier. Let me know what you think of this gigantic beast. Which of the, you know, you guys have probably seen all kinds of epic creations in my videos. Which is your favorite? Just curious. If you remember any of the names of them or you know any of those names, comment below which one's your favorite. Anyway, hopefully you're having a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Click one of the two videos that you're about to see. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. I'll see you guys next time.